It's Black Beanie, I'm back snacking on weenies. Look at these views from sucking these dudes. <laughs> Wait, what? It's Black Hoodie, I'm back cooking these goodies. Look at these views from cooking these foods. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. I have a different beanie on. I got a fresh one. I kind of hate when they're fresh, to be honest. It's, it's a whole thing. Maybe I'll talk about it, but until then, we are doing something VV diff today. So, I figure it's an apocalyptic time. I myself have never gone down the route of a hungry man dinner, okay? A hungry man dinner. So I myself have never had the privilege of having a hungry man dinner. Um, I don't know really why anybody would buy these, but I guess some people really don't know how to cook. And I understand, I guess sometimes you're just like, it's cheap or whatever, and easy, desperate times call for desperate measures. I understand that, but other than that, I don't know really why people would ever eat this, but I thought to myself, you know, we're in apocalyptic pandemic -y time. I got a bunch of freezer foods and stuff for, you know, just in case down the road. And I figured I would have to try a hungry man dinner because I am a hungry man and I like dinner. But I will say this, I don't know if this was near seafood or what, but this box smells absolutely horrendous. So it goes. Certainly right off the jump, some very funny slash concerning observations. However, there is an observation here on the left, the coldest water, if you would like to purchase down below, you can go through my link, use the code hoodie, save 10% on your entire order. And I just want to say a personal thank you to everybody who is shopping with the coldest water. I do get kickbacks. You make my life a little nicer from day to day. So thank you. And I hope you enjoy your product. Now let's get to this product, the hungry man dinner. Okay. First things first, this tray, is terribly concerning to me. I just put it in my toaster oven for what, what they said 30 minutes, which I did, and it's coming out warped and kind of melty, so I have to assume that it's offloading toxins, but I mean, this whole dinner is probably toxic anyways, but it said you have to uncover the chicken, uncover the brownie, and then these two stay covered, and they get four coals, so I did that. So we gotta remove that. Corn is nice and steamy. And these mashed potatoes are looking super hospital, super old folks homey. But you know, might be good. So as per my nature and the nature of this, you guys know I'm a saucy guy, but I feel like I'm definitely gonna need some sauce for this. So I got chicken and rib barbecue. This is a shout out for Snoopy Eats. No one's gonna get it except for him and I, if you're watching this, show her what you can do. Now I'm from a time where I certainly witnessed people um, sitting down with a shaky TV tray and, and heating up these and eating them and you know living their best one. So we'll see, I don't know. Also, no pour up. I already have the remnants of a Red Bull. One of those days I just got like five hours of sleep and I need it. So the first place I wanna go is the chicken. I just have to. So I should have flipped them because this side is good and soggy. This side is semi crispy though. Still smoking hot. Looks like a very large chicken nugget. So I'm gonna try it just straight up plain. Hopefully that'll get in there. Okay, straight up. Tell me why that's actually good. Wow. I actually really like the flavor of this and the chicken itself. It's like a good well put together patty like it doesn't seem nasty it has great texture with the barbecue sauce the chicken and rib barbecue sauce compliments is pretty good okay i mean <clears throat> i do love trashy foods by my very nature. We've seen this on this channel many times.
how bad can corn be? It tastes like corn. Like, I caught it out of a can and heat it up. I may be being converted. <laughs> to Hungry Man Dinner. All right, a true test. This potato. See how that looks? She's smoking, steaming. Looks extremely uh, processed, like powdered potatoes. But bon appetit. All right. <laughs> Certainly not the best. Could use some more salt. A little more flavor, a little more like garlic or cheese or something like that. But I love barbecue sauce on potatoes, so. We have that. Okay, do we have to do this classic style bite, right? We gotta com combo it up. The corn and the potatoes. And then I think we're also going to have to have a bite of the chicken with it. One thing I definitely have to say is that it's called Hungry Man Dinner. I'm a hungry man. And after one single tray of this dinner, I would still be a hungry man. If we're picking up what I'm putting down. Certainly not gonna fill me right up. That's for sure. Getting corn in my brownie. Should I try the brownie now or save it for dessert? I think I must save it for dessert. I feel like I should be eating Like a whole nother one of these for this video or something gonna be a short video I guess kind of dummied it right quick it is what it is though I only bought one of these because I did not bank on it being very good That said though, I'd probably eat it again. It is not half bad. All right, whoa, that brownie baked so perfectly. That's crazy, it just slid right out. The whole entire thing. It was like a batter in there. And then it just like rose to perfection and slid out. So I'm very, very extremely impressed with it actually. Man. The Hungry Man technology 
legit impressive went into this being a hater a naysayer judgmental actually legit like really not bad like I give that a solid like 8 out of 10 like would eat again in a pinch like I wouldn't prefer it I'd make my own shit if I can which I usually always do but I mean nothing to shake a stick at so short little video but I did want to do something like a little more different a little playful I've always wanted to just try like hungry man dinner just because I never have I have seen people eat them and I was like I gotta do it so did it maybe I should have tried two or three but uh it is what it is with the one because I really didn't think it was going to be that good um, hope you enjoyed that. Till the next one, you know what to do. Eat good, live well, stay true.